In part one of this problem, we were asked to find the probability that if a study participant were randomly selected, that his height would be less than 66 inches. The first way we will do this problem will involve using the graph of the normal distribution on the TI-83 or TI-84. To learn how to set up the TI calculator to graph the normal distribution, please click on the notation on the screen. The first step in doing this problem will be to find the z-score for 66 in the normal distribution with a mean of 69.6 inches and a standard deviation of 3 inches. We will use the z-score formula and using first a parentheses and then 66 minus 69.6 close the parentheses and divide by 3 we get a z-score of negative 1.2. To graph the solution on the TI calculator, we'll reuse the shade normal function, which is found by clicking on the yellow second key, then the distribution button, then go to the draw menu and hit enter to select out shade normal. Since the question asked for the probability that the height is less than 66 inches, we will first enter negative E99 by hitting first the negative key then the second double E, and then 99, followed by a comma, and now the z-score, negative 1.2. Then we hit the enter key, and the TI-83 draws the distribution and gives us the area, which is our answer, as 0 0.11507. In this problem, we were asked to find this probability to three significant figures. That means that the answer will be 0.115. Had we been asked to find the answer to four significant figures, then the answer would have been 0.1151, because we would have rounded to the fourth decimal place. We will now clear the drawing being shown on the screen by clicking on the Draw button and then simply clicking Enter. We will now return to the home screen and clear the home screen. A second way of doing this problem without drawing the normal curve is very similar except it uses the normal cumulative density function which you can get to by using the yellow second key, the distribution button, and selecting number two, the normal cumulative density function. Now enter negative double E engineering exponent 99 comma negative 1.2 and press enter. Here we get an answer which is a much longer decimal which we then use in a similar way to get the answer 0.115. Finally, the third way of doing this problem again uses the normal cumulative density function, but this time we will use the raw scores instead of the z scores. So our input into the normal cumulative density function will be negative E99, comma, 66, comma, 69.6, comma, 3. The answer we get in the calculator is exactly the same as we got using the previous two methods. However, sometimes the answer obtained using this third method will be different, and that will happen anytime the z-scores in the previous two methods needed to be rounded to two decimal places. We will adopt the convention of rounding z-scores to two decimal places, and the final answer, which is the area or probability, to four decimal places unless told otherwise, as in this problem where we were asked to find the probability to three significant figures.